it's so easy right to just mix GIC and loot a crown into the patient's mouth but things are a little different when you are talking about bonding and Emacs restoration. So friends this Tipsy Tuesday is dedicated to using adhesive dentistry concepts to make sure that a veneer stays bonded to an underlying prepared tooth and for this I have prepared an animation. Remember when you are bonding any Emacs restoration to a tooth, you need to not just prepare the tooth but also the prosthesis for bonding. And remember, always prepare the prosthesis first. Now preparation of the prosthesis for bonding requires three separate steps. First, you always start with using hydrofluoric acid which is nothing but your porcelain etch. This is typically available in either a 4% concentration or a 9.5 or 10%. Depending on which concentration you use comes the contact time of the etchant with the prosthesis. So if you are using a 4% concentration, 20 seconds contact. If you are using a 10% concentration, 10 seconds of contact of the etchant with the porcelain only. Remember this is a thin shell. Do not over etch. All right. Once the time has lapsed, you take water and you thoroughly wash it away. And this gives you a very frosty, chalky, white appearance. Now comes another simple yet important step. You go ahead and now take your 37% phosphoric acid, your regular tooth etchant, apply it onto the entire intaglio surface, leave it there for 30 seconds. 30 seconds later, go ahead and wash it away with water. This takes away all the dissolved lithium disilicate crystals, leaving a beautiful frosty surface ready for bonding. The third and final step in prosthesis preparation, friends, is the application of your silane coupling agent. You go ahead and leave it onto the entire intaglio surface for about 60 seconds, and it typically evaporates by itself. All right, now very important. Please keep this prepared veneer covered with some form of protective layer. I typically like to put in a rubber cup on top. All right, uh, a bowl that we use for mixing things. Just put it on top, keep it safe and secure. Because now you move your attention to preparing the tooth for bonding. How do you do this? We all have been doing this for years. Nothing different. You have your total etch technique, which is 37% phosphoric acid on the entire prepared tooth surface. Enamel 30 seconds contact. If any dental is exposed, remember less than 10 seconds. Go ahead and thoroughly wash this away. You have a frosty wet appearance again. Now you take your bonding agent, scrub it onto the entire surface. Make sure you air thin the bonding agent. Now when you are air drying the bonding agent, use adequate amount of pressure and make sure any ripples that are created on the surface are all gone. All right, no ripples means all the solvent is gone. All you have is pure bonding agent that is available now for adhesion. Very important now. Please do not light cure this bonding agent. If you land up light curing this, there's a possibility your veneer may not seep completely. That is why even your chair light, make sure it is not focused on the prepared tooth. Now you go ahead and take your light cure veneer cement. Lots of them available in the market. Friends, the one that I prefer comes from 3M. It is Rely X Veneer Cement. These are light cure only. Please do not use dual cure cements. What do you do now? You take this prosthesis to the tooth in a very, very specific manner. Look at the direction. I always adapt it on the incisal edge first and then rotate it onto the cervical. Look again adapt it on the incisor and then rotate the veneer onto the cervical. So all the excess comes out from the cervical margin. There is flash but there are no voids inside. Now what do you do? You take your light cure gun and pack cure which means one second only. Flash on, flash off. This allows the excess cement to become semi-solid. You now take your applicator tip, all right, not the one that you applied bonding agent with. A fresh applicator tip. Go ahead and clean all the excess out, floss the contacts and once everything is clean, please thoroughly go ahead and light cure. From the palatal, from the labial, 20, 30, 40 seconds if need be. If you want to sleep peacefully at night, adequate light curing is important. Remember there is nothing called as over curing, under curing may be a problem. 
do all this correctly friends you have a mono block restoration which means the prosthesis is now a part of the underlying tooth ye dosti hum nahi todenge all right so that is friends how a veneer is bonded to the prepared tooth if you liked this presentation friends please support my initiative that is tipsy tuesday go ahead and click on the like button why because love comes for free all right go ahead and put in a comment because i'd love to hear what you think about the video and also give me suggestions for future tipsy tuesday topics go ahead and share this with your friends because sharing brings more love to the family and last but not the least go ahead and save this because when you next have a patient for when you are bonding this video is going to help through the journey please remember come back next tuesday as i share with you yet another tip that makes your dentistry a tad bit easier until then happy bonding to you bye bye